I really wish the weather could decide if it was gonna be cold or if it was gonna stay in the 60s. It is ridiculous. Whew, so cold. All right, let's get this done. Believe it or not, we are leaving today for Maine. Why, you ask? Well, I bet you can guess. That's right, Courtney's getting a goat. Here I was so proud that she was unloading all these goats on our property. I'm thinking, man, this is good. We're gonna downsize. We're gonna be good to go. We're not gonna have so many goats. Now we're going to get a new goat. But it's okay. This one apparently is super duper awesome. High quality, I don't know. It's a game changer goat apparently. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Courtney says we gotta do it. So we're gonna. It's rather annoying. We are making our first stop to drop off Chloe. Cause like I said, Courtney is doing a fantastic job of uh, shedding goats. Shedding goats? That's what I'm doing? Yeah, shedding goats. Yes, shedding goats. That's what I'm calling it. Here we go. Hey, Mama. Fucked. Oh, yeah. aren't you cute? Well, he's little, so not stinky yet. Yeah. <laughs> she's not pretty. Stinky. Oh. Yeah, the colors the kids are going to love her. She's my favorite. Oh, she's Aww. so sweet. There you go. Was she bottle raised? No. She seems really tall. She just is. She just. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So we uh, we sold Chloe, uh, my favorite goat. But you know, we're trying to make sure that all the animals on our property are giving back in some way. And since you know, Chloe isn't like a top quality milk producer, right? Mm -hmm. And like, I'd like to keep her as a pet goat. We made this deal with each other and I'm probably the one that started it. <laughs> sort of feeling bad about it now, but it's okay. We just, uh, we had to make good decisions about some of the animals on the farm. We started by what? We got rid of the weathers originally mm -hmm. because they were just eating, uh, which is fine. Um, but they weren't producing milk, obviously and they weren't producing um, sperm. So, yeah, so they, they just had to go. They were just, they were your original emotional friends and now you've got plenty more emotional friends, right? Yeah. So we didn't need them anymore. Chloe's going to be a part of a petting zoo. Um, she travels around to birthday parties and community centers and stuff like that with uh, goats and sheep and rabbits and chicks and all kinds of cool stuff like that, which will be the perfect home for Chloe. Chloe walks well on a lead. She's super friendly, even though she loved Kenny more than me. Um, but it'll be, it'll be the best place for her. Like that's totally yep. the kind of goat she is. No more kiddings for Chloe. Like she's, she's pretty much hit her max and we didn't want someone to like try and have her kid just one more time. Like, don't squeeze another one out of this poor girl. Like, she's lived a great life. Let's let her finish it out. And uh, yeah, so it took a took a while for us to find a good home for her, but we found one and I think it's gonna be fantastic. Sad to see her go, but yeah, it's a good al decision. Also, I'm really picky about where any of the goats go. That's true, that's true. Because <laughs> I definitely did have people come back and say like, oh, I'd like to breed her one more time. And you're like, no, no, no. don't breed a, a goat that isn't in top physical mm -hmm. and top genetic condition. Yeah. It's um, just not responsible. And yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, you really are super picky with whoever we sell the goats to. Like, I forgot how Courtney will tell you no flat out. <laughs> I, I will. Yeah, you will. You will not get an LOBR goat if Courtney doesn't feel comfortable. So that's how we roll. These are my babies. They are. So, all right, back on the road. Here we go. 
Well, we're in New York. Did you did you get the sign? No. This has just already been the longest trip ever, but we started late. We're all sick. I mean, it'll be totally worth it when we get a little baby goat. Hey, we've made it to Connecticut. Connecticut it is. Whoop whoop. How's it going back there, Robbie? I don't know, really. Uh, what do you want to chat about in the car, Kenny? Kenny? I don't really know. I don't really know either. That I literally just had it in my head and then it was gone. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. All this snot in my head is taking away all my good ideas, but whoa, look out there. Let's get you a better food. Why are we going all the way to Maine for a goat? <coughs> they don't have goats in Pennsylvania? I'm glad you asked. They don't have this goat in Pennsylvania. They do not. If I ever find a really cool tool that they don't have in Pennsylvania, are you gonna drive with me to Maine to go get it? Yeah, I'm not going uh, to. Do you have cash? Yes. Paying for something, 150, let's go. Jeez, hold on. Come on, pay the toll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, I'm getting there. Jeez, Kenny. Thank you, you too. We're in the Northeast. <laughs> where there is a toll every three miles. Yeah. All right, why are we driving to Maine, Fergo? Genetic diversity, Kenny. That's why we're driving to Maine. Got it. For a goat. But also really good genetics. So the goat we're picking up. I found you in Pennsylvania. Does that mean I didn't get some good genetic diversity? Should I have gone further away? The genetics for sarcastic women in Pennsylvania are actually very, very good. So, you know, you got cream of the crop. That's true. We named this buckling Mick Fleetwood. He is from Chickadee Farms. His sire is from Old Mountain Farm, and his dam is from Feather and Scale Farm, which has a lot of similar lines to, to Old Mountain Farm. Now when I say similar similar lines, there's still genetic diversity because Old Mountain Farm has so many goats. I am on the wait list uh, for, for a pair of bucklings from Old Mountain Farm, but it'll still probably what? be years until that ever comes up. So we gotta drive out here again? Heck yeah, we do! You owe I, me, you said I said years from now, years. Like I've only, I've only been on the wait list there for like a year and it's probably a four year wait list. So. You owe me. Just saying. I do. I do owe you. I love you. I love you too. Oh my. We are here. We are in Maine. You don't know where you're going. It is so cold. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. That it was like even numbers. Oh. So, yeah, we are here in Maine. We uh, just stopped and had some dinner. Robbie had his very first Maine lobster. I guess I could say I had my first Maine lobster since I'd never been in Maine and never had lobster in Maine, right? It might have been my first Maine lobster. I don't know that I had a lobster the last time I was in Maine. Yeah. Last time, you mean like the last seven times? You've been there like seven times, maybe? One. Didn't you hear that whole conversation at dinner? Where I was I like, honey, you, have you ever been to Maine? Business trip a bunch of times in Maine, or is that New York? Uh, that's San Francisco. <laughs> Definitely not Maine. Way to pay attention to, you know, the things that your mother says. Well, I forget most days. <laughs> you mostly don't pay attention to what your mother says, let's be honest. No, I don't. At all. It's time to put our PJs on. Oh, I'm ready for PJs. Seriously? What? Yeah. What you, you didn't bring PJs? No. <laughs> what did you bring? Uh, no. Video games. Other clothes. Good job remembering your video games. Did game you bring clean underwear? PJs. Yes, I did. I bring. I, I don't bring, believe like, that for a second. A regular, like, you know, like, clothes, but I just didn't bring PJs. Okay, well, we are gonna try and warm up, get some rest, and then get ourselves a goat in the morning. Oh. Whew. It is morning. In Maine, which means it's cold. It's cold, Courtney. I actually think it feels really good out here right now. No, it's not wet like it is at yeah, our place. Yeah, it's not wet and it's not uh, it's not windy. Yeah. This feels amazing right now. 
does. Let's get some breakfast and some coffee. Yeah. Robbie, you coming with us or what? Yeah. Yeah. He's coming with us. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Poor Robbie. What? Oh, he did. <laughs> he, gets, he gets harassed more by us than by like. That's what he gets school. for being a pre teenage yes. boy. All right, goat's here. We just had breakfast. So we're gonna check out what we got going on over here. How you doing? How's it going? Zach, nice Kenny, to meet you. how's it going? Yeah. Wonderful. Still can't believe that we drove all the way up here for a goat, but. So this is Emily, and Emily is from Chickadee Farms, where we got Mick. And I followed Emily on Instagram for quite a while yep. because she has super nice goats. Um, so tell me about your farm. Um, we started with goats about two years ago, and we started with Weathers as pets, and it just kind of all blew up from there. We got our first doe, and then we went to see some local shows. We met a lot of people and decided that it was something that we wanted to do, so we're just kind of moving forward with the show, the show goats, and yep. this year is going to be a big year for us. We're going to go um, to the national show nice. in Nebraska, so very cool. That'll be really, really exciting. Are you going to come to the national show in Harrisburg in 2022? Yes, that is the plan as well. Awesome. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see you there. Yes, <laughs> we're only like 20 minutes away. That's so. really, really yeah. nice. Yeah, very exciting. Very cool. <laughs> It's all better now. So dark. Courtney, why are there two goats in there? You told me we were only getting one. Okay, the other one is not mine. Are you sure? I'm sure. I don't believe you, you know I'm that, sure. right? Well, you'll believe me when we get to New York. All right, fine. This is how she does with everything. Like, I didn't even know we were coming here until last Sunday after I mean, I, the, the show. I didn't generally know that I, we were coming You here. said, Sometime after the farm show, we're going to have to go and pick up a goat in Maine. Not like next weekend. We don't have much of one on the way there. You know what I mean? Don't want to. It's right. Don't you want to hang out and talk to us? <laughs> kind of. But we're going we're gonna to stop in Boston. Boston. We're going to go get a beer in, in Boston. I'll be still in Boston and I can't drink beer. <laughs> I think in Boston you can. Chance? No, of course they can't, Kenny. I was being oh. silly. <laughs> You're so funny. I always forget how funny you are. Right. I'm gonna trade both of you in for goats. We are in New Hampshire. Woohoo! Yeah! Of course, now we're on our way back. Yeah. Not on our way to. Right. Being in New Hampshire isn't really a big accomplishment because we were like 10 feet into Maine. Yeah. There are two goats in the car. There are two goats. This has been like a really crazy, um, I don't even know what to call this. We've been making deals in parking lots with goats. Like our first was at a waffle house in a parking lot where we, we, we unloaded Chloe and then we're at another hotel motel parking lot, roadside inn style, collecting two goats. And now we're gonna go to probably another parking lot and drop off another goat. Like this is some shady wheeling and dealing goats. Like. Like, we are goat runners. We are goat runners. We are the Eastern Coast goat runners right now. What is it? ECGR. We are the ECGR. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Na 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 na. For the record, we're not breaking any laws. <laughs> not, you're not even speeding. We're not, e we're not breaking any laws right now. Fans, we're not even lawbreakers. We're not lawbreakers. We're, I'm sorry. We're not we're, breaking the law. We're legally distributing livestock we in are, parking lots. We are legally distributing livestock in parking lots. It's still weird. It's like if you made a gang, but you never did something wrong. Just like really a group of friends. I think that's called a club. I think I think it's also called my friends. <laughs> I think they call those. This is my friends. I think legal gangs are like yeah, just your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is my gang. We do stuff. Legal, Legal stuff. 
We're legal, goat gang. Um, we need two dollars cash. Oh, the... okay. Okay, pause. Hold on. We are somewhere in Massachusetts and just ran into a snowstorm. We left Maine before their snowstorm arrived and I was planning to be home after the snow was done in Pennsylvania, but I didn't account for the space in between. Yikes. Let's check on the goats. Hi hey guys. How's it going? How going are you babies? Court. It's going great, Court. It's going fantastic. I wasn't talking to you. So it's like, you know, like if you look, right, so if you're sitting there looking at it, uh, and so you're like, wow, how's this going for you? Fantastic. I mean, our um, windshield wiper fluid isn't working, even though we filled it up. And um, even if I did, it's snowing so heavily that I don't know that I could see anyway. I mean, it's not snowing that heavily, Jenny. How do you know? You can't see through the window. <laughs> Why are you combing your beard, Kenny? Because you make me angry, and combing my beard soothes me, calms me down. Try to be peopley for once. I'm not peopley, I'm goaty. Well, that's why I'm saying, be peopley for once. No. The dog became evil, and like, since I couldn't kill it because it was yellow or a ghost, and I had to find a ghost blade before I could do it to like seal the ghost away. The dog almost was there, but I had like this thing where I could like comb its teleport sometimes. And I teleported away from it because it didn't make you or just like slashed you. You would like turn into a ghost too. I was like, two swords. Like, I had to use two hands, but then I turned into like my own hand sword and shield. So I'm like that. So I stabbed him and slapped him with the shield. But I was like, I realized, like, I was there. So I like ran up his belly. I was like, super fast and like, it'll work. I ran up his belly and then like slashed his eye. Before that, he closed his eye. He was like, I'm like, I'm like, And And Robbie, this all happened in your head, right? This is why you never pay attention when I'm talking to you, isn't it? Because yeah. all this is, there is an epic battle between a ghost dog and a kangaroo and there's some swords. And, all no, this is all like a course head. of like five years. <laughs> this has been going on for five years? Yeah, probably since I was like three or two. That's more than five years. tell you what this is not what I expected I knew it was gonna snow a little bit but I didn't think it was gonna snow that bad but uh, we had to stop and, and grab us some food go to the bathroom do all that fun stuff we still got to drop off a goat and get home we're doing pretty good on time uh, we've only stopped twice once for gas and once now to go to the bathroom and get some food so after Binghamton, we've got maybe like three and a half hours left until we get home. So, all right. All right, let's go. All right, we are in Binghamton, New York, and we are going to drop off this doling and get some caffeine. friends when you get home. Yes, you will. How you doing, buddy? We're almost home. We're almost home. Mm. That's right, almost home. Stopping to get gas for one last time. My beard is not looking very good right now. It's got like a whoop, whoop de swoop on it or something, I don't know. All I know is I'm tired, tired of driving, tired of driving in some really terrible weather. 
but it's okay because we got this cutie pie right there where's he at right there and we're safe and we're almost home Woo! Mick is home. Hey Mick. He's in here in his little stall by himself. He can see other goats so he's definitely a lot happier. He actually did really great on the ride home even when he didn't have somebody with him. Yeah we're gonna let him get settled in and just make sure um, he's doing okay. Sometimes the 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 trip can uh, make goats have a parasite bloom you know they've got like a normal parasite load and then it can bloom when they're under stress so we're just gonna watch him make sure that doesn't happen and then get him integrated with the herd he's super sweet look at this little face hey buddy hey you having your snack Everybody else looks great. I think Robbie and Kenny are already in bed. So much for the help, guys. But I guess they did spend like, whew, I don't know, 18 hours on a car in 24 hours, 36 hours. I don't know. It's a lot of time in a car. So I guess we'll give them credit for that. All right, folks, come back and see us next time. Bye.